Hello friends, Buffalo here. A lot of you probably watched me have my Bill Dance moment yesterday when I fell in the creek. I posted that video here yesterday. Uh, it's pretty funny actually. Just glad I got up out of there without losing any of my equipment or getting uh getting hurt I've got a few bruises on my on my legs but i'll be all right i did have this rig on and uh this is what i wanted to show you guys today i'll probably title this video something like my winter everyday carry or something like that i've been carrying this rig since october around mid-october and i really like it i uh, feel really comfortable carrying it it's snowing on me right now but anyway i feel really comfortable carrying it uh, don't feel undergunned or anything like that. I know a lot of people say when you carry a five-shot revolver, it's not enough. But I, for my purposes, I haven't had any any uh, hesitation about carrying this. This is a Ruger SP-101, for you guys that don't know. I had to take it apart and dry it all out. Uh, it's got some oil on it now from where I cleaned it there last night. It's a 38 Special. You don't gain anything by buying the 38 Special version. Uh, a lot of people don't like the 38 Special version. You can buy the 357 Magnum version of this. It looks the same, it feels the same, it weighs the same, and it holds the same amount of cartridges. And you can also fire 38 Special in it. So why would anybody buy the 38 Special? Well, let me tell you why I bought it. I borrowed this gun to do some videos with on the Buffalo's Outdoors channel and just fell in love with it. I shoot it so well, it's just, uh, I, it's hard to argue with a gun that you can just shoot that well. And I shoot this thing really, really well. I shoot it better than most of my semi-automatic handguns. And I shoot it in double action. I don't shoot it in single action. I do shoot some revolvers in single action, uh, double action revolvers in single action if I'm out hunting or something like that where I'm trying to take the most steady shot that I possibly can, uh, can and making a humane kill. But if I'm just out on the range running drills or, or practicing for my concealed carry, practicing self-defense, I'm always shooting double action. And I shoot this one really well in double action. Put these grips on it. It had the standard rubber grips from Ruger on it when I got it. I put these Packmire, I think they're rosewood laminate grips. And I really like those. I shoot it even better now with these grips on it. These uh, require a lot of fitting. If you're thinking about getting these grips for your SP-101, uh, just be comfortable doing some woodwork because it, it required a lot of hand fitting for me to get these grips to even get up on here. And I still got some work to do. I don't know how well you can see this gap. I still got to t remove some material in here and get that to close up. But they ship them to you very ballparked. I guess that's the best word I can describe it. And you have to do the rest of the fitting yourself. So I still got some work to do there, but I'll get that done. Great little Curry handgun. It's heavy, fully loaded with these grips the way it is right now. It's a little over 28 ounces. So not a lightweight, but if you've ever shot those little air weight, lightweight revolvers, they're not the most comfortable to shoot anyway. Probably why I shoot this revolver so well is because of the weight. And I just carry run of the mill Winchester 38 grain 125 grain plus P hollow points, semi-jacketed hollow points. Stuff just like you would find at Walmart. Nothing special here. I had, uh, of course I had both speed loaders loaded and I had the little gun loaded up when I fell in the creek. So I've got all that ammo here. This ammo is probably fine. High probability that it'll shoot, but I'm gonna move it over to my range ammo I do not want to carry this ammo simply because I know that it's been submerged. This holster, fantastic little holster. It's a Safari Land. It's a leather holster. This this tab here is plastic, but it's a leather holster. It's a model 567. I think it's a 567 Custom, if you look it up. Uh, 567BL, it says on the part number. Fantastic little holster, adjustable retention. Doesn't have a thumb strap. But as you can see, I fell in the creek 
and clawed my way back up out of that muddy bank and uh, gun stayed put just fine. Really like this holster, highly recommend it. It's an outside the waistband concealed carry holster. Really well made. Safari Land makes some really good holsters and let's face it, they make some junk too. So you kind of have to watch yourself there. These HKS speed loaders and pouch. This is a model 203 medium pouch. It's a double pouch. Trying to give that camera an opportunity to focus. There it goes. It's a double pouch. Got the snap button type. The speed loaders of twist type. Pretty good stuff. Uh, nothing, nothing too fancy there, but they, they work really well for my needs. But I'm going to get this thing loaded back up and get it ready to carry. I got it all dried out. That gun was full of water. Uh, not much dirt got in it. The water was pretty clean down there, but it was a it was absolutely full of water. I had to dry it all out and oil everything back up and uh, I got that done took care of. I'm gonna load it up again and get it ready to carry. Make it walk down here to the range before it gets dark and fire off a couple cylinders full just to make sure I'm good to go. But that's all I got for now and I'll talk with you guys again soon.